about uh, resolution number one. Resolution number one is about crossed our uh, elections. Previously, cross any member who was uh, uh, desiring to get elected, if he could not get uh, a place in his own tower, was allowed to go to another tower where he is not a resident and uh, file his nomination from that other tower. There were certain uh, inadequacies in this process. The first inadequacy was that, you know, none of your own tower members were willing to contest. Somebody else comes and files his nomination from your tower. This was creating, uh, you know, a kind of uh, dissatisfaction in the sense that I don't have any say in who represents my tower. So some unwanted, unknown face comes and files his nomination from my tower, and I have no say whatsoever whether I, whether I want this person to represent me or not. So, because that was, he was getting elected by default. Okay, so now a slight modification to this rule has been done, saying that 15% of the uh, members of that tower need to give positive consent before this man can represent your tower. That was first condition. The second condition is that only one out of the two tower representatives, only one tower representative can be from another tower. Both tower representatives cannot be from another tower. That means your own members have to be at least one of the two representatives. The third condition is, since you are getting elected by default, you really don't have the mandate of the people. So, okay, you can say that I had a 15% affirmative consent, but it is still not a, a, a uh, it is still not a mandate which you have fought and won. So it, is, it has been proposed that you cannot be an office bearer in the managing committee. So these are the changes which have, uh, which have been introduced by resolution number one.